There was a custom, we're told, amongst the ancient Celts. Remember the Cardinal of Fiat saying this on one occasion about resting. So when members of one tribe visited another, the leader addressed them, you are welcome. And the visitors roared back, and we came to be welcomed. So I hope you feel that way today, and we're going to try it. I'm going to ask you, are you welcome? And I want you to respond like the Asian Celts, and we came to be welcome. You are very welcome here to St. Matthews. And we came to be welcome. Terrific. Good. And we hope you'll feel that way right through our time together here. Sanctuary becomes stage. Sanctuary becomes stage. I, I like to think of that as a kind of, maybe a sort of symbol for today, reminding us of something that is the heart of the Christian faith, and the heart of so many other faiths too. That the holiest sanctuary, the holiest place on earth, is the heart of another person. The holiest place on earth is other people. So I thought this is an assembly. The sanctuary of our church today has become the place where we're going to see the talent and the gifts of our people of Valley Farm that come alive. Say, the heart is nicely not able to give a shot. <laughs> Right, yeah. um, people often ask, well, how did we think of asking some president to come? And it was simple enough, and we were up one day there on the bed tower, looking across towards the Phoenix Park, and the man said to me, if you look closely through the trees, up in this height, you could actually make out something in the shape of all the moves on. And so the, the idea was born, and we, by the way, we wrote to you, and we were so grateful to reply, and said you would be so glad to be with us. Maybe how many people are readers of McGill magazine, but uh, this month's McGill magazine, the long interview with Wilson and Mary McAleese, fortunately, the next president, and it says, she's quoted there for something she said in the Lenten lectures in, um, in the Procadil in Dublin, about know, many years, seven, maybe eight years ago. It so happens that I actually share those intellectuals as well. And I went along to see what they were like, you know, and what the standard was like, and who uh, were coming after afterwards. And there was Mary McAleese was giving this brilliant talk, really, on what well, it was Wednesday, midday, or something. And I had to follow the next week, I think, and it was, it, was a, it was a terrible act to follow. So I'm very glad that I'm coming before you today. <laughs> <laughs> and 
that that will help us, especially we have cases and not only uh, especially a case where the best advantage and many others will be welcome there and know that they are welcome. The poet, the lunatic and the lover, Valentine's Day, 40 to 50. We're glad to be on, on this day and that was our prayer there would be that certainly like the Lord himself that we too have something of the recklessness of the loving heart and that we would be want to be with people in their agonies and in their, and in, and in their joy. So what we gather here today to do is not an end, but a beginning. To pray that our lovely Paris Centre will truly end a place where bridges are crossed, which is a theme, you know, so beloved of, of our president. Bridges to help us to live creatively in the midst of those myriad contradictions which Maureen McDowell spoke so eloquently about, which are no less true of that family than of that past. Let us dream and act together to make that possible in a hostile the beginning, not ending. But the cone of day, Fekra Tora, there are Seha, now his father, and now the Nara. And that's our prayer from the that building that we are so glad to have, and so thank the Lord for giving to us, will be a blessing to us, an enrichment of human life for everybody who lives in this area. Something something will bring us nearer to one another and also to God. We have this and make prayer. Thank you all. You don't know Father Ryan is, but um, I too uh, took a look at the list of people who were appearing in the Pro Cathedral that week. <laughs> and I said, make sure I go in front of that fellow. <laughs> He's far too erudite for me. I want to get in ahead of him before they catch on. So, you're very blessed in your parish priest and in your curates indeed, St. Matthews. It's not every parish that was so blessed. There, uh, I remember a time my father tells a story about going up to Donegal. I better not mention the name of the parish. So he went to Donegal and he was coming out of Mass one morning and he was not going to have it going around graveyards. And immediately outside the church, uh, there was a graveyard for the former parish priests. And uh, he went over to the graves and some elderly women were tending the grave. And my father read the headstone and it said, that the parish priest had been a great scholar and that he had uh, a great number of doctorates and a great number of degrees after his name and that he was a very famous writer on many subjects and my father said to the woman standing tending the grave she said, he said you were very blessed in this parish you had a really amazing man as a parish priest he was a very clever man and this Old lady looked at my father and she fixed him with a really cynical stare and she said, well, let me tell you something, son, she said, a far stupider one would have done us. <laughs> From which I gathered, Father Ryan, that the parish priest's lecture for the tens on the long each side. <laughs> let that be a warning to all of you. 